Hey friends, welcome back to Beer and Beauty. Vlog it's another episode of Vlogmas. I'm holding on to this Vlogmas thing as much as as much as I can, but I'm super excited about today's video because today's video is gonna is gonna be one of my favorite videos to shoot. Uh, it's a video I shoot every month. It's my monthly empties. And you guys, I'm so glad that I'm doing these empties videos monthly because as you can see, things are overflowing. And the closer I get to the end of the year, the, the more jam-packed full these empties get <laughs> as things keep falling out of this box. Um, so I'm so excited to tell you about all the things I emptied out in the month of November, my reviews of them. Uh, perhaps we'll talk a little bit about the the no buy year, how it's you know wrapping up, and uh, I don't know. We'll see that about that. I actually haven't shot this video yet, so I have no idea what I'm about to uh, learn when I talk about these things. But I'm going to give you little reviews about everything that I used up. But before we get into it, let's discuss today's libation of the day. So this is Apothic Red Vine, Vine. Wine. <laughs> um, in Polish, uh, wine is vino, so so it starts with a V. But it's wine, and it's called Apothic Red. It's a winemaker's blend. Um, I never buy this wine myself. My brother-in-law gave me this, gave this wine to me, uh, because well, I just remembered this memory that I have of my ex-boyfriend just making fun of this wine <laughs> years ago. Like we were just at a store somewhere, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, there's plenty of people out there that would." buy this wine just because it looks sick, right? Looks sick, but... So, let's uh, pop it open and give it a taste. Cheers to that. <laughs> and it's fine. It's fine. Um, doesn't blow my socks off, but it's got a little... It's a dry wine, but it's got a little tiny bit of sweetness um, just at the beginning of the tongue. And when it moves to the back of the, the, the palette, it turns a little bit more drier. And I think that's kind of nice. Uh, but it, like I said, it doesn't blow me out of the water, but nothing really wrong with this wine. I'll, I'll finish this bottle of water. Water? <laughs> I drink it like water. I'll finish this bottle of wine and I'll enjoy doing so. So cheers to that. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into what's inside this. So I've got a couple candle empties and my empties this month. Um, an empty I've never featured inside of my empties before. Um, I was inspired to buy this candle at a, like I was face painting at a craft fair in October. And I walked around some of the booths and I found this one candle maker, um, a company called Something Practical Designs and I don't know. I I loved all their candles. They uh sh I think it's actually just one girl that makes these candles. But I fell in love I fell in love with the the design of everything and the scents of the candles and I took this one home. This one's in the scent of making me blush and it's just this delightful but not overpowering just romantic gentle sweet springtime rose scent and yeah i loved this candle i couldn't stop burning it i wanted to burn it like all the time and, and normally i don't burn candles that much in the first place my sister got me this candle i i, I don't think last year for my birthday but two years ago for my birthday and I used up this one too, but like this candle got me into the habit of burning candles and when I used it all up, I finally ended up using up this other candle that my sister got for me, but I absolutely love this scent and you know, her name is Something Practical Design. I believe she has a website. Always burn them for hours at a time. Usually I'll burn them for like half an hour, an hour maybe even two hours. At this point, it won't light anymore. There's a little bit of wax still in there, but... Oh, I think she said actually 40 hours, and she wants you... and she recommends burning them for four hours at a time. I think that's what she said. It was like 40 hours of use. And when the wax gets to be this low down, she recommends not trying to light it anymore. It's... and I did notice that towards the end, the smell was kind of changing 
into something else, but this was absolutely lovely. So happy to have been able to support like a local business from Connecticut. And I don't know, maybe I'll look into getting candles from her again because I thought this was lovely. And then I got this stress relief aromatherapy candle from my sister for my birthday like two years ago. Finally used it up this month. This is Wild Mint and Eucalyptus and it does, it does have like a nice fragrance, like aromatherapy, like almost kind of reminds me of like Vicks but like more pleasant, more of like a relaxing scent. <laughs> but it definitely had like a minty, menthol kind of scent and I thought that was really lovely and I used up this little candle this month too. So those are two candles I used up. I probably won't uh, repurchase a scent like this, I'm more attracted to like the rose scents or something unique like that. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any new candles right now because I'm planning on moving next month so I don't wanna buy candles right now. I, li I like having less things that I need to move or say, you know, throw away because I can't move with them. Uh, I will not be purchasing any new candles until I'm moved. Next thing I'd like to mention is I used up these vitamins from Nature's Bounty. I got these at Target. They're just like a hair, skin, and nails vitamin gummy. And for the longest time, I had steered away from um, gummies because I was trying to reduce like drink or uh, eating sugar. But these were on sale at Target. I needed to buy like four health and beauty items in order to get a twenty dollar gift card or something like that, and I decided to buy these. And honestly, I loved these. I thought, okay, first of all, they're delicious. They're definitely the most delicious gummies I've ever tried. Price was right for this bottle. I think this was only like six or seven bucks for the, this bottle. However, I did notice that this is this is not even a full month's su supply. It's got 40 gummies in it. A serving is two gummies. If you have them every day, that means you're going to finish this within a month. But I did notice that my skin was retaining more moisture while I was taking these. So I feel like for a hair, skin, and nails vitamin, I don't know, I don't know how directly impacted this, that was to taking these vitamins, but I did notice that my skin was doing a little bit better when I was taking these. So it's not too expensive. It's, I think, I believe these were the least expensive hair, skin, and nails vitamins in Target and they were very delicious to eat. I I looked forward to taking these a lot of the time and I feel like they worked. So uh, yeah, I think I would repurchase these one day, but probably not anytime soon. I just got these to try and I'm glad I tried them. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna get into cleansers and I did use up two cleansers this month. Both of these I got in subscription boxes. This one I got in a Nipsey, this one I got in a BoxyCharm. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about the bigger one, my a full-size cleanser that I used up this month. This is the Dr. Brent Biotic Balancing Complex Clean Biotic pH Balance Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. <laughs> this was a mouthful. That's a, that's a long name. But I was really excited to try this when I first got it in my BoxyCharm. I was excited because of all the terminology that it's... it's being used to describe this. It's that it's got chlorophyll, that it's a yogurt cleanser, that it's pH balanced, um, that it's clean. So I was really interested to see if this would like help me, since it's pH balancing, would it help me control some of my psoriasis, some of my dry skin. As far as pH balancing goes, um, I think what's good about this cleanser is that it doesn't disturb your pH balance, but it doesn't help balance out your skin, if that makes sense. Um, it doesn't help balance out your pH balance. <laughs> but I will say that because it's a yogurt cleanser, it's very hydrating. It, do it does not strip the skin at all. It definitely, like, it will clean your skin without disturbing the natural oils on your skin. So if you're somebody that's very, very dry or very sensitive, you might like this. Uh, uh, but does it remove makeup? Not really. Um, it's not really designed for that. It's definitely supposed to be more of a skin cleanser. It's not really a makeup cleanser. Do, do I feel like the chlorophyll did anything? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, that's more or less my review of this. I wasn't as like impressed with this as I thought it was, but I definitely am not disappointed by this. It's a nice 
non-stripping, like, hydrating cleanser. Uh, but I think this terminology, like, makes it sound more exciting than it is. It's just like a nice hydrating yogurt cleanser. Uh, and as much as I loved using it and having it and using it up completely to every last drop, um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it, but it was very nice to use. I liked it. And this one was super interesting to use too. This is a, a cleanser by Tony Moly, which is a, I think a K-Beauty brand. And I, I do believe I've seen this brand in China, so I don't think that they're cruelty free. I don't, I'm not actually not sure. Made in Korea. Yes. So K-Beauty product. And it's the Vital Vita 2 Jelly Cleanser. It's got a lovely little citrusy scent, so I think that's really nice. Actually, because it's got like a fruit vitamin com complex, it did kind of irritate my eyes a little bit, but not too bad. You can just kind of rinse it out. You can still use it to clean your eyes. Um, and it does a good job like cleaning off both makeup and just like as, as a skin cleanser, you can use it both ways. But I, I still typically almost always go in with like a, a balm cleanser first. And then I will follow up with this, but what's my favorite thing about this cleanser is how little you need to use and how foamy it gets. It's good. You only need to use like a little tiny droplet on the tip of your finger, like that big. It will foam up all over your face and, and neck and create like a very rich lather. So I thought that was pretty cool. I liked it for that. And therefore, because you only use such a tiny amount this sample size this like deluxe size sample lasted me like a good two months so that was really cool and i think actually i might even have one or two uses left in here but, you know at the same time i feel like the the citrusy fruit complex might be irritating for some people so i don't know if i'd ever want a full size of this but i'd like to have another mini i'd like to get another mini one day but like I said, I still have plenty of cleansers I'm still going through. I haven't needed to buy one all year long, especially because BoxyCharm will throw one in every three months. So <laughs> if you have BoxyCharm, you probably will never need to buy a moisturizer or cleanser because they throw in a moisturizer and a cleanser into their boxes like every two to three months. So, I mean, at least mine. So uh, there's that. And yeah, this was fun to use. Not my favorite cleanser in the world, but not my least favorite either. Somewhere in the middle. Um, very, like I said, really fun to use. So I used up a couple toner packets uh, from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, as you guys have known, I've uh, had a ton of these in in my empties before. I'm almost done with my whole like box of them that I had in these packets. That's actually really good because it looks like they expire in December, so... I have to use them up, but they're really good, both chemical and physical daily exfoliator. So I'm gonna try to maybe use them like every day, see what that's like, but because I have other exfoliators in my collection that I love very much, I try not to use these while I'm using those. So I'm just kind of careful with them and I still think these are really awesome. They're both they're really great because they're both a chemical and a physical physical exfoliator and they really help to resurface the skin. Um, make it nice and smooth, smooth out the texture, smooth out any kind of like discoloration and stuff. I love these. These are great. Yeah, the next step in my routine would probably be, be masks and I only used up one this month. This is a little mask that I got in a Nipsey bag a while ago. This is from the brand Feel and the restored mask so this is a self-warming clay mask and it opens pores and deeply is deeply cleansing and i thought this was actually really delightful to use um i got a good like 10 uses out of this little packet i think i actually just used this up last night so that's awesome but i thought this is an extremely pleasant experience to use this because of how warming it is. It's like a thick gooey clay that when you rub it, it warms up and it opens up your pores and I definitely feel like it does exfoliate and purify your skin a little bit. I don't struggle too hard with acne or texture or anything like that, but once in a while after like a long trip, I do like to do like a, a purifying mask of sorts just to kind of, to give my skin like a deeply cleansed feel. I like just, 
detoxifying my pores and unclogging everything and get in like a nice clean slate. So all my other products work even better. So I did really enjoy this. I don't know if I'd ever pursue it, but this was very, very pleasant. So I have so many masks still that I have to get through. So I'm going to try to use up more and then I will consult whether or not I'd like to repurchase something like this. So the next point in my skincare routine would probably be like a face mist. So um, I did use up two these this month, two Mario Badescu face mists. Um, it looks like I got a little bit left of this green one, but the, the, the pink one, which is my favorite, is pretty much up to two. And I still have one more. I have the lavender one still kicking around. It's actually like, you can tell that the, like these are my two favorites and my lavender one kind of isn't just because... I still have like half of it, but that one's still nice too. I was really excited to try these because I've just, I don't know, I heard great things about them. So I decided to get like a three pack once when they were on sale at Ulta. And the first one that I used up was this Mario Badescu Facial Mist in the Herbs and Rose Water with Aloe like scent. This is the pink one. And I really love this one. This one, that was lovely. I love anything rose scented. I don't know if you could tell by how I was talking about the candle earlier, but I thought that this smelled amazing. It did feel a little bit hydrating, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like it was like a brown, groundbreaking essence or mist. I definitely feel like the packaging is pretty cheap and lame, and I feel like this is like a poor quality plastic that they're using in here, but I feel like at least it would be a recyclable plastic, so that's nice, but because it's, it comes in a plastic bottle that is kind of cheap looking, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this, but it was very fun to use, uh, and I it, w it was pleasant and it was nice to have like a nice like rose scented face mist, but you know, like I, like I said, it didn't blow me out of the water. It was just nice. Same with this cucumber one. This one's the another face mist from Mario Badescu. This is the aloe cucumber and green tea one. This is the green one. I do feel like both of these have uh, colorants in them. So that's like not, not that cool. And both of them have fragrance in them. So that's also not that cool. And they come in this plastic packaging that's not very luxurious. So for those reasons, I am not going to be repurchasing these, but I thought that they were fun to try. If you are somebody that is in the market for face mists, and you've probably heard things about the Mario Badescu face mists, but you know, there's other face mists I'm more interested in trying. I've heard nothing but great things uh, from the Glow Recipe face mists. I'm very interested in trying those. By the way, like this video if you have a hard time saying face mists. <laughs> face mists, face mists, face mists. Oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's hard to say three times fast. I bought these and started using them at the end of last year, I think. And it took me all year long to use them up, especially because I was using all three face mists. Like I was interchanging between them, so I finally used up these two. Like I said, there's still a little bit left in this one. I think that's enough for like two more uses, but I've, you know, this is respectively used up. So I figured while my memory is still fresh and how these performed, I'd like to talk about these and yeah, fun to use. I like them, but I won't be repurchasing them. This, however, I feel very differently on. This is a little mini of the Caudalie Vino Perfect uh, Grape Water Essence. Um, yeah, it's, it's an essence. So Often I would use this after I use a face mist and I would just pat it into my skin. And this was really delightful, you know, it actually took me a little while to uh, warm up to really liking this, but it absorbs into your skin really like nicely. It helps absorb other products a little bit nicer. It has like that grape water kind of scent, but it's, I, I can tell that it's not like a fake scent. I'm looking at the ingredients to see if there's any like parfum or fragrance and it doesn't appear to have any of that so thumbs up for that uh, it's got a little bit of glycerin that's gonna like attract a little bit more water to your skin absorbs really nicely like I said I think I would re repurchase this one day either this or the beauty elixir uh, yeah that's what actually really the beauty elixir is a really nice face mist and I actually kind of miss it now that I 
uh, been apart from it for a while, but this was really nice to use in its place. Actually, those two products kind of work similarly, in my opinion. Uh, but this was really nice. I really like this totally hydrating like essence. I love this. Okay, so now we're going to talk about serums, and I have three serums to share with you. I guess the first one I'm going to talk to you about is the one I just used up last night. This little sample of the Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum from Algenist looks like this. And yeah, I was out of this little sample packet, I was only able to, about, to get about two uses, but I did use them back-to-back -back nights. And I do feel like it gave my skin a little bit more bounce, which is nice, but like, uh, but two uses is kind of like not enough to decide upon a serum. It's, it's enough to learn whether or not it's going to break you out or irritate you, but it's not enough to form an opinion on whether or not like it would be a favorite for you or anything like that. It would be like a staple. I do notice that there's like mica and fragrance in here. Of course, they're really low down on the ingredients list, and there's like a lot of ingredients. There's like, <laughs> this whole area right here is all just ingredients right there. Um, and I didn't actually even smell anything on this for, uh, this serum, so why they added fragrance into it, I don't know. I don't know if it would have smelled worse if it didn't have fragrance in it. I, I guess since the fragrance is so low down on the ingredients list, it's one of the last ingredients, then it probably isn't going to be irritating, but still, like, why even, why even put it in there? I don't know. Next product that I used up is the is full size of the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Clinical Concentrate Radiance Booster. Looks like this. I got it as gratis from Sephora back when I used to work there, and I finally used it up. I ran out of vitamin C last month, and I decided to wait till I got my BoxyCharm to uh, get that serum, so I didn't have to buy any serums, and I'm glad I did that. And in its place, I try to use this up as much as I could. And there's some stuff still in there. I could probably like dump it out, but I'm respectively done with it. It's all, there's only like this much left, and and I don't know if this is still even like at its most effective state because I've had it for a while. But I do feel like it is brightening. And it evens out like those dark spots and stuff like that, but I don't believe that it's life changing, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. But nice that it's in a glass bottle. I like that, and that makes it nice and recyclable. And then the last serum, which is actually kind of a strange thing, but I got this in a Nipsey bag a while ago, and this is actually really lovely. One of my, one of the more impressive things that I've ever gotten in a uh, Ipsy bag, but this is the Mint Pear Night Serum. Looks like this. Are you focused? Yes. So this is a Rose Hip Night Serum, and it's all natural, pure, and organic. And I'm actually really kind of imp impressed with some of the ingredients about this, but something that confused me about this product is that it's, it's called a serum, but all the ingredients, almost all the ingredients are oils, and it feels like an oil. So there's been days where I used it before my moisturizer, and days that I used it after my moisturizer, and I feel like it works better after the moisturizer. But it's called a serum, so that makes me confused as to like where it belongs in the skincare routine. The idea behind this is that, now that I'm reading the how to use, is that you're supposed to not even use a moisturizer with this. This is like your serum, moisturizer, and oil in one. But here's the ingredients. It's pretty impressive. I really like these ingredients. It's got organic rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, pomegranate seed oil, carrot seed oil, red raspberry seed oil, maracuja oil, parentheses passion fruit seed oil, tomato seed oil, watercress seed oil, calendula oil, and lavender essential oil. So the something I would take out of this formula is the lavender essential oil, but luckily it's the last ingredient. So um, lavender essential oil can be sometimes irritating on my skin, um, but because it was the last ingredient, 
this little cocktail of oils ended up being really nice. I do have like one use left in it and this tiny bottle lasts me a good amount of time because you only use like two or three drops at a time. So this little bottle lasted me like a good 30 to 40 uses or something like that. And actually I think I probably could get one or two uses still left in there. But this is really nice. If you like oils and that ingredients list is nice for you, which it is nice for me, I would recommend it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like a big enthusiast of oil, of oils. I, I love oils. <laughs> How many times have I said oils in the last three minutes? I have no idea, but um, like this, would recommend it. Okay, so next step is gonna be moisturizers, and I did use up two this month. The first one I used up was this Origins Ginseng moisturizer. Yeah, energy boosting gel moisturizer. Absolutely lovely. Mikey got this for me for my birthday and like a little set of Origins project products. This is a nice bigger one and I had like a mini that I gave away to a, uh, a subscriber. A, a good amount of product in this uh, like container. This is like a, like a, I feel like a good month worth of moisturizer if you use it once a day. If if you use it twice a day, it's probably more like two weeks, but I do kind of switch around my moisturizers so they last a little bit longer in my co collection. Like, depending on what I feel like my skin could use that day that I switch up my moisturizers, but I did, and like, I loved using this every time I used it. I don't know, I love the scent. The scent is energy boosting. It's a little bit citrusy, but like, I don't think it's got like citrus ingredients in it of any kind. But you can use it a morning or night. I prefer to use it in the morning just because it is a little bit more like refreshing, citrusy, like morning time kind of moisturizer. It sinks in the skin really beautifully, retains moisture beautifully. Because this is gel moisturizer, oily people would like it more than someone like myself, but I even as a dry person, I really enjoyed this one. So I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon just because I, I do like like creamy moisturizers myself and there's I don't know I'm really interested in trying the Tatcha one I really miss the fresh rose moisturizer that's my favorite one um, and there's just like so many that I'd like to try so it's probably gonna be a while before I purchase this but I did enjoy using up every last bit next up is something I got in a boxy charm a while ago and when I got it I was so excited and I haven't been able to put it down I was I've been using it like ooh like Almost every day, uh, I like had to get my like make myself use other moisturizers at one point besides this one. But this is the Sunday Riley Title moisturizer that I got in a boxy charm. Oops. <laughs> Something that's strange is that it comes in this glass jar, which would be really lovely. I don't know why they don't they don't just leave it in the glass jar, but they have this like plastic insert. I don't know if this is necessary. I feel like you should just put it inside this, but it does make the packaging kind of like prettier, but also like makes it so there's like less product. So, you know, this lasts me a good amount of time, even though I used it all the time and it and like evaporates into your skin and like really sinks into your skin because it's like this water cream. It absorbs into your skin really nicely and I feel like it is brightening and my skin just really loved it. It just because I use so many like brightening and evening out with the discoloration skin tone, I feel like my skin tone's really nice and even because of all the products that I use that just don't suffer from like hyperpigmentation or anything like that. Um, I never, I don't feel like I ever did in the first place, but eat, like especially that I use so many of these kind types of products, it's like so a non-issue for me. But I loved the texture of this. I loved, there's no like fragrance or anything like that, I don't think. Yeah, it definitely gives you like baby soft skin. It's got a ton of hyaluronic acid in it. So really a hydrating moisturizer, you know. Some moisturizers are more um, about balancing out the oils in your skin. They have oil in them to make them more combat dry flaky skin. But this is like more about adding water content to your skin so I thought this was absolutely amazing I loved it I couldn't put it down I used it to every last drop I don't know if you can see but it is co completely gone and I feel like I got this in my September boxy charm it was like a boxy luxe 
And yeah, took me no time to use it all up. Two months, like two and a half months. I, it took me to use this up, even though, even though I was using other moisturizers here and there, I still use this up in two and a half months. And it, I guess, speaks to like how it doesn't have that much product in it, but I don't know, 1.7 ounces, 50 grams. I feel like that's not an untypical amount of moisturizer for a full-size product. It's a little on the small size, but not like completely unreasonable. So for daytime, I finished my off my skincare routine with sunscreen. So I used up this little sunscreen that I had kicking around for so long. This is the Banana Boat Sport Performance um, UVB Broad Spectrum 30 SPF sunscreen. I tried to keep this around in my bag a lot while I was kayaking around around in the summer, but I ended up, I don't know, I, I just never used it that much for that. I, there was a couple times, but I don't know. Whenever I put a reapply throughout the day, I usually will only reapply to my shoulders and my arms on body, and uh, during this month, I actually use this a lot on my face to get this used up because I've had this in my collection for a long time, this tiny little mini of this sport performance. And uh, yeah, I feel like it protected my skin nicely. I actually feel like uh, the next day after I use this sunscreen, my skin, because I, I gotta be honest, you guys, because the days are so short this time of year, if I don't feel like I'm going to spend much time outside, I am not putting on sunscreen. And maybe that's bad, but there, you know, it's been very cold. It's, I gotta go shovel after this. There's so much snow outside. Days are short. I don't like spend a lot of time in the sun. Because it's so cold, I tend to keep my curtains like closed in my apartment to kind of like make sure those drafty windows don't like let, let in too much cold air, you know what I mean? So I, I just, it, it's, it hasn't been a priority for me to wear sunscreen, but there was like three or four times where I used sunscreen and I used this and it was nice. Um, and also some of my makeup has a little bit of sunscreen in it too. That's all to say, I probably won't repurchase that, especially because I have more high quality sunscreens around. But yeah, that's how I finish off my skincare routine during the day and at night. I to finish off my skincare routine with an oil. So I used up this oil, which is a lovely oil that I love. This is the Corez Wild Rose Oil, and it's got like little rose leaves at the bottom here. I probably had this way too long because this is um, a vitamin C product, so it says to use it up within six months. I definitely had it longer than that but it still works. It's still brightening, it's still hydrating, and oh, the scent is to die for, you guys. Rose scents. Rose scents are a theme in this video, and this is one of the most to die for rose scents in the world. So there's a little bit left here, but it's so low down, it's like visibly empty looking that I'm not gonna keep it. I will open it up just to First time I smelled this product, I just like, it was a mind-blowing scent to me the first time I smelled this. It's not like a, like a fragrancy kind of sm scent. I feel like the, the scent comes from the ingredients, the roses, the, the what have you. But it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. I think I'd love to have it back one day, but I'm not going to pursue it anytime soon because I currently feel like I have like 10 oils in my collection. I should declutter some of them but I love them all so much, so I don't want to, but really did love this oil. I'd love to have it back one day. Okay, so I guess now we're gonna go into hair products, followed by body, followed by makeup, and then finally, I think I just have one face painting, or like empty, that I'd like to share with you. So the hair product that I used up was the shampoo from Chi. As you can see it says use me so this is the shampoo I primarily had in my shower for my guests but my boyfriend loves this he just thinks it's like he loves the rich lather it creates he loves the scent and he loves how hydrating it is for his hair I feel like it's a little bit silicone -y, so I don't like it on my hair I feel like it kind of weighs it down and I feel like it creates this artificial coating on my hair that 
it makes it seem like my hair is really soft and shiny, but it doesn't actually make it soft and shiny, if that makes sense. Uh, Pantene Pro-V kind of does the same thing. Some people love Pantene Pro-V and use it forever and um, loves what it does to your, their hair, but to, for me, I can tell that it's like this artificial like silicone coating in my hair. It's not making my hair actually soft and shiny. It's like making this like silicone coating on my hair. You know what I mean? Some people don't care that it's an artificial coating. They just like that their hair is so shiny and so soft and I can respect that. Absolutely. But as somebody that has really thin hair that grows really slowly, I just, I, I don't know, I want like more authentic like natural products on my hair. For a lot of people, if you like something that lathers luxuriously, smells great, and is very moisturizing, um, you would love this. But for me, I won't repurchase it. It is sulfate-free and paraben-free. So that's actually really a po like two thumbs up for this product. And yeah, and I used it a, a handful of times myself, and it was... I, my favorite thing about it was its rich lather. It was very, like, it was a luxurious experience. So that was a nice little shampoo. Okay, so next up is body products. Uh, so I used up this gigantic container of this Dr. Teal's body wash. Looks like this. I think, I, yeah, I bought a second one of these. I... No, I bought this one at Alt, uh, from Ulta, which it was on... When I bought it, it was on sale for $4 for this giant bottle and then I got a second one in the lavender scent from Target because I loved this one so much and I was running low on it. I feel like there's like one or two uses still left in here but I wanted to review it for you guys while it's still fresh in my mind and it's respectively empty but the scent is to die for. I think I actually talked about this in a favorites video at one point. I might like link it down below if you guys want me to talk about, like, hear me talking about this as a favorite, but the scent is to die for for this uh, body wash. Um, it's got this, like, masculine but still, like, n more unisex kind of scent. It's uh, the, the charcoal. I don't know. It just, it fills my bathroom with this just, like, sexy, this unisex scent that's, like, leaning masculine. It, yeah, it cleanses your body beautifully leaves you smelling great. I feel like it doesn't strip your skin and make it feel overly dry, which is really nice. And it's got some really like nourishing, awesome ingredients in it. It's got aloe vera, shea butter, vitamin E, and Epsom salt. So these are all things that like keep your body skin really nice and healthy. And I definitely felt that when I was using this uh, body wash and I so recommend it especially for the price and how much product you get you get this big 24 ounce bottle for like I got mine for like 419 like it was on sale at Ulta and I think even at full price it's like six or seven dollars for this giant bottle so absolutely recommend this stuff and I I think I will be repurchasing this scent you know I like the lavender one but I I prefer this scent I feel like this scent is awesome it's so sexy, makes my bathroom sound, smell amazing. So, love this. Next product in my routine that I would use up, um, I got this like Lush sample from Lush. Obviously, ooh, well, I just got a whiff of the scent. It's such a lovely scent, but. Um, it's a body conditioner and it's written in, in French. L'Argan de Rue, I think it says. It's hard to say. It's hard to read because I had this in my shower for a little while, so the, the writing kind of like wore away. But it's a body conditioner. What you do is after you like exfoliate, like cleanse and exfoliate your body, you turn off the shower, you rub this all over your body, you leave it on for a couple minutes while you, what I like to do is I'll probably shave my armpits or um, do a little bit of shaving, uh, exfoliate my feet. Um, that's something I've been doing a lot lately because I've got some eczema on my feet trying to exfoliate. You don't need to know about all that. But yeah, you smooth this on all over the body and leave it on and then you rinse it off after. And it's supposed to be kind of like, almost like you don't even have to moisturize after this. And if you're somebody that doesn't have particularly dry skin, I, I feel like you could do this with that. It's got argan oil in it, so that's really lovely about that. Scent, oh! The scent of Lush products, I just can't even get over 
it. And this one's really sexy. This one's kind of like kind of, I like I like to even have this as a perfume. I love the way this smells. I can even like sum it up. I, like I, I anything I'll say doesn't even like give justice to how this smells, but I don't think I will repurchase this because I feel like my skin could use more um, moisturizing than this. But when, I, when the girl at Lush like washed my arm and used this on my arm, my arm felt super smooth, but for some reason when I used it on my own, it, I don't know, maybe I didn't use enough, maybe I should have dried off my skin a little bit and then put it on. Actually, I bet that's what you should do. You should try to like rub off any excess water and then put on the, the con I think I'd rather just use a body butter. That's, that's the thing. Like the, the in shower body conditioner seems like a fun, nice idea and I bet it would work for somebody, but it's, the, it's not the optimal method of moisturizing my body for me. Oh, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I used up this body scrub from Rituals. The brand is called Rituals, and oh gosh, this was absolutely lovely. This was super fun to use. Loved the scent. Uh, you probably have already seen me feature in these empties videos. I got this in a set of three items. I got a set that had the body wash in it and the body butter in it as well as this scrub. So I used, I already used up the body wash and the and the body moisturizer and I finally used up the scrub and all three had this like amazing scent. I love the scent of this stuff and it's so unique. I haven't had a scent quite like this anywhere else. Some some scents are similar, but this is like a really luxurious, delicious scent that I love specifically for this line of stuff from this brand Rituals, who makes these like really luxurious, like beautifully scented products. And you know, the scent of this is no is no exception. And I think my favorite thing about these Rituals products is the scent of their things. The scents of their of all the items I've had of theirs to try. I've tried like three different scents from this brand and they're all so luxurious and so like, wow, like, <laughs> um, they're scents that make you go, wow, like this smells so good. Um, I actually really enjoyed the texture of this scrub, even though for it's not like, an abrasive enough scrub for me doesn't deliver as much as exfoliation as I would need. I did really enjoy the texture. It's a sugar, it's like a sugar scrub. Whoopsie. It's a little slippery, so it slipped out of my hands. But it's, it was really interesting. It had the sugars, you rub them all over your skin. It sh fills up your shower with this amazing scent. And it exfoliates your skin pretty nicely at first and then the sugars dissolve and then it kind of leaves like a moisturizing oil on the skin which I thought was really nice. Since it is a very fragranced product, um, if you're somebody that's very sensitive to fragrances you might be irritated by this. I don't feel like it like did any favors for my psoriasis. I had like psoriasis patches on my, on my legs and the big reason why I use scrubs is to kind of keep that psoriasis under control. I feel like it didn't really, it all, it might have even irritated my psoriasis if not just simply not do anything for it, but it did leave my skin very soft and smooth and lovely. So if you're not somebody that suffers with psoriasis or sensitive body skin, you would probably absolutely love this. And, and especially if you don't like, if you're somebody that doesn't like particularly abrasive scrubs you might like a scrub like that. This one's a little bit more gentle, a little bit more moisturizing, which I think is really nice. Um, but I probably won't repurchase it. I might actually repurchase it because I love this, this scent so much. And it was a fun formula to use. But as far as utilitarian purposes, like keeping my skin soft, exfoliated, and keep my psoriasis at bay. Not the best for that, but fun to use. Great scent. And overall, I did very much like it. Uh, and the last body product I have to share with you is this like mini of the body butter from Tree Hut. My favorite scent from Tree Hut that I've tried so far. It's in the Moroccan Rose. And I don't know if you guys have seen me talk, seen a lot of these empties videos, but 
I've been, I've mentioned um, Tree Hut a ton of times on this channel. I love this brand. This is a brand that makes excellent body products at an excellent bright price point with excellent scents. I love it. I just love Tree Hut. My favorite products of theirs are their body scrubs. I will continue to repurchase them forever and always. I can't wait to try more scents with them. I've tried I've tried their Moroccan Rose body scrub, I've tried their Kakui Nut body scrub, and I've also tried their like caffeine mocha coffee scrub. That that one. <laughs> And uh, all three of them were really excellent at exfoliating me. A nice gritty body scrub that does deliver an excellent exfoliation but still breaks down. So, you know, no microplastics. I absolutely do not mess with microplastics in my body scrubs. None of that. Only like sugar and salt scrubs so they can dissolve in the water pretty quickly. Uh, and yeah, one of my favorite scents was Moroccan Rose, and I got this in a little travel kit of like three different Moroc uh, Tree Hut products. It had a mini of their body scrubs, a mini of their body wash, which I haven't tried yet, and a mini of this body butter. And this is the first time I've tried their body butter. And I have to tell you, really thick, super thick, luxurious body butter. And I love it for that, and it's got their great Moroccan oil, Moroccan rose scent. Love this scent. Like I said, rose scents are a theme of this video. <laughs> but yeah, another rose scent. And by the way, all, all the rose scented things I've mentioned in this video are different rose scents. Like this one's, uh, it's like a perfumey rose scent. It's, it's pretty sweet but still like light and springtimey. Uh, this rose scent was very light and springtimey. Like this rose scent was like richer and more luxurious. And yeah, this rose scent was really like springtimey and light and delicious. This candle, it's supposed to smell like a first date. <laughs> so I, I think that's actually kind of sweet and cute. And I like that. But yeah, it says this is a 24-hour intensely hydrating shea body butter. I will say that it is intensely hydrating. It definitely keeps your skin moisturized for 24 hours. It's one of the thicker body butters I've ever tried. It sits on top of the skin, which actually, if you're very, very dry, you might like. If you're a little bit more oily and you just need something that's going to sink into your skin and absorb really quickly, this might not be for you, but if you're somebody that kind of needs extra hydration and you need it to be pretty emollient, especially going into those winter months, this formula is actually really nice. However, I feel like it might be a little bit too fragrancy for me. I feel like it might be a little bit irritating in my skin, especially when I have psoriasis. There's just other moisturizers I've been using lately that, I don't know, I just kind of like better. But I think I would repurchase this one day because the price point is so good and it is pretty effective. It is a deeply hydrating uh, moisturizer and the smell is awesome. You know how much I love those scents from Tree Hut and I love this brand overall. So love that. Love that. Finally, we get to go into makeup products and I have quite a few makeup products here. So this is going to be wild. Uh, I guess we'll go in order of how I would do my makeup. So the first item that I used up this month is this mini sample size of Becca Fresh Light Priming Filter. Looks like this. It's the purple one. So it's the it's an illuminating primer, and I'm actually wearing it today. Um, and I think I might be able to squeeze in like half a face out of this, but I think I'm just going to retire it. I think I'd really like to repurchase this one day. I really love this. Um, but the, the thing is I have, but yeah, I have a lot of illuminating primers that I should really get through before I repurchase this, but I really would like to repurchase this. This is lovely. I'm wearing it on my face today. I feel like it makes my makeup look beautiful. It help. It definitely helps at least. And I don't know. I just love it. And it took me a long time to get through because, like I said, I have so many other illuminating primers and I've been low-key trying to save this, but no. Now I'm trying to like use up as many as of my minis as I can, just so I have less minis. But love this, would recommend that. The next thing that I would use is a concealer. Um, it's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, 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 
Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I actually used this in my kit for a long time, then I took it, then I took it out of my kit and used it on myself and I took out the stopper and I really scraped the sides in it of it sides of it and it's respectively fully used up. And I actually have this one and I also have the shade vanilla and vanilla is almost gone too. It's probably gonna be in my November empties and I absolutely love this concealer. I think I'd like to get full sizes to keep in my kit because NARS is a really great concealer that that adheres beautifully and cooperates beautifully with most people's skin tones, skin types. Like, it cooperates with oily and dry skin types really nicely. You know, I used it up a lot faster than I think I would have used up my shape tapes. I have so many shape tapes in my kit, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna repurchase these until after I move, just because I don't want to deal with adding things to my makeup collection. I'm trying to use up things as much as I can, and that's why these videos are so long and nuts. <laughs> um, absolutely love this, would like to repurchase it again. Like nice, it's a really beautiful, nice full coverage concealer without being overly heavy, and works well on both dry skin types and oily skin types, so love this. Highly recommend, will repurchase eventually. Next up is I used up two like hair tip eyeliners. Oh, well actually, this one was more or less dry. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, and it was more or less dried up, and then the the cap like popped off in my kit, and then it really dried out. So as you can see, like the tip doesn't even flex. It's like it's got it's got dried up product in it. So that has been used up. I have to be honest. I'm not gonna repurchase it because it's Kat Von D and uh, I don't think her explanation video was good enough. I feel like she, there's more, there's aspects of the her controversies that haven't been, she half explained herself on basically all accounts. It's not a good enough explanation for me. I still feel like you could be an anti-Semite. I f still feel like you could be an anti-vaxxer. So I won't be repurchasing this but luckily I have found alternatives to this product that I really love. And then I thought for the longest time this was an excellent product that I loved, but, and it's not dried up and I still could probably use it, but as you can see, yeah, can you see the little bubbles on the edge of that product there? It always does that. I don't know what's going on with this packaging, but the eyeliner is coming out way too quickly. It bleeds all over my eyes. When I first got this, it was, I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. It was super black, like waterproof, easy to use, like transfer proof, but I don't know. Now that something's happening with the tip of this item, that like it's kind of like rushing out and it's like bleeding all over the place and it's really messy to use, so I can't retire it because it's so messy to use. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this packaging, but I can't use it anymore, so it's being retired, throwing it away. Okay, so the next product product I would use in my skincare routine before I, the last thing um, that I'm going to mention is uh, I, I would next use setting spray. So I used up this setting spray from Ben Nye. As you can see, a lot of the writing has rubbed off, so I've had this for quite some time. Quite some time. Um, but I do love this. I feel like this is one of the most heavy duty, like bulletproof setting sprays on the market. It's kind of used more so for like theater and special effects because it is so heavy duty. So like it's designed to be a, uh, there for heavy duty products. But I do keep it in my kit because if I'm doing a makeup, doing makeup for like a July wedding that's like 90 degrees, I will use this to get it to really kind of be as durable and long lasting as possible. Something that is unpleasant about this product is that it smells like mouthwash, so like it's really. I don't like to use that on my bridal clients because it's not as luxurious as a, of a scent as some of my other setting sprays, but it is heavy duty. So I do have a backup of this that is currently in my kit. Um, I did notice that this little bit I could use it up, I guess, but it's not the color it's supposed to be. This is kind of like an aquamarine teal kind of color, it's supposed to be blue. 
It's supposed to be like a nice baby blue, and it is not baby blue, it is green, so I have to kind of throw away the rest of this. Yeah, served me well, I will repurchase. I have repurchased, I have a backup. Um, last up is I used up my House of Lashes eyelash adhesive, my, my lash glue from House of Lashes. Um, this is an older one, I got this one last year. And I still could use a little bit of this, but I still would like to just kind of talk to you guys about it, because I, for my, you know, this is the one that I keep in my personal collection, and I have a second one that's in my kit. And I noticed that the the one in my kit is less milky looking and more like holographic shiny looking. This one's more milky looking. I feel like people have talked about how they have changed the formula. To me, I don't feel like it's changed that much. Uh, but I still love this lash glue because it is the most like foolproof, bulletproof, long-lasting lash glue. Like your lashes will not come up until you remove them um, with this lash glue. And even if it does come undone, it's so tacky that you can kind of like press your lashes back it back into place, and they will stay for a good while. So. I love this lash glue, will repurchase endlessly over again. I do have a backup going right now. Uh, okay, so I used up my packet of Shiseido facial cottons. And I love these. They're so soft. They're just luxurious and lovely to have. And this packet kind of lost me all year long. So I'm, I'm not repurchasing them right now because like I said, I plan to move at the end of the month. So I don't want to move like a big packet of these guys especially because I have just like uh, cotton rounds from Target that I use in my kit that I'm going to use on my face just to get them used up so I can you know when it comes time to repurchase a bunch of stuff I can go to once I'm all moved in and it's gonna be really nice and luxurious to buy a whole <laughs> have like a nice big haul of stuff that it's gonna be all emptied out because I'm using it up because I'm trying to downsize as much as I can before I move cross country. Can you smell me? Uh, there's another thing I wanna to talk to you about, uh, another thing of disposables that I can't find right now, but I emptied out a big, like a large package of cosmetic wedges from Ulta. It was like this big, I don't know if you can, the gesture I'm making with my hands, but it was like a large package of um, cosmetic wedges from Ulta and I used them all up this month and I'm not going to be purchasing them anytime soon because I still have cosmetic wedges that I get like as free bonuses all the time and from as gifts from people so I have a ton of cosmetic wedges that I'm going to be working through for the rest of the year I'm not gonna repurchase the Ulta ones just yet, but when it comes time for me to repurchase cosmetic wedges, I feel like the ones from Ulta were really nice and did the job for me when I'm working as a makeup artist in my kit, so yeah. Oh, I missed something. I missed this eyeliner from Hourglass. So this is the Hourglass Obsidian eyeliner in the 1.5. Oh gosh, this is such a delicious whole eyeliner but it's a and the packages packaging is nice it really cr creates like a really nice fine um, point but the problem is there's just not a ton of product in here so you go through it really quickly I used it up really quickly and I was at cinema makeup school actually because um, I was using it to smoke out like your eyes and if you use it that way you will use it up really quickly so be careful of that. I did repurchase it because I love it so much. Um, it is just a beautiful smudgy coal eyeliner. You can really smoke it out and smudge it out beautifully but uh, once it dries it dries down and it sets and it doesn't move and I think that's another aspect of this eyeliner that's wonderful and I did repurchase it because I love it. And the very last thing that I used up this month was this refill of body glue from the brand Glimmer Body Art. So I use this for a number of things. I use this primarily for glitter tattoos. Uh, in my face painting kit, I also use it to adhere like little gems and stuff to people's face paint. So it works beautifully for that. It's nice no latex free skin glue. And it's it's like, it's not like Prosade that's Prosade can be a little bit too intense for children sometimes. This is a little bit more gentle and this is actually, because it's a little bit more gentle, it's nice to 
create a long lasting glitter lip. So if you wanted to adhere a ton of glitter to your lips and have really sparkly lips and freak people out with your sparkly lips, this is really long lasting and it works really great for that and you can and your lips stay glittery even after eating and drinking which is wild <laughs> okay guys that is it that is my empties video that is everything that i used up in the month of november it is a lot i understand it is a lot and because we're getting to the end of the year and i'm trying to aggressively like use up as many things as i can I, my, these empties videos are huge. They're, they're, I'm using up a lot of stuff and I think that's wonderful. This project has been so fun to do, um, throughout the year. And now that these empties videos are getting really big every month, it's making it even more fun. And I, f I love using things up. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth when I use them up. I'm able to deliver even better reviews because I've used these products up enough to use them up. So yeah, love this. So if you like empties videos, subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up and put on the no notification bell because I put out a new empties video every month. I also have a playlist of empties videos if you want to check that out. And this is one of my episodes of Vlogmas, so subscribe to this channel and hit the bell if you enjoy Vlogmas videos. I hope to post a video every day. I don't know if I will because <laughs> as you can, I know that I had to have definitely more than an hour of footage right here. So I'm going to have fun editing this one. But yeah, there's that. I hope to be releasing holiday merch soon. So. There's going to be a link to my merch shop down below. All my merch is hand airbrushed by me. I airbrush all my own merch, so check it all out. Uh, if you'd like to buy some original artwork from me, or you can even order um, airbrushed merch from me. I can, I can write whatever you want uh, onto some t-shirts or bags or hats or what have you, so you can do that. And yeah. Uh, recently, I put out a uh, freelance makeup kit video, uh, and I think that video came out really well. It's very informative, and if you'd like to get a sense of what I keep in my professional freelance makeup kit, some stuff that I feel like works on all types of different people, if you like like makeup collection videos, I feel like you'd have a fun time watching that video. So check that out. I'll leave that down in the description below. And yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. And until next time, cheers. Bye.